Hello, hello. Thanks. I'm good. And you guys? We're fantastic. It looks beautiful there, is it? Yes, it is. Today is very hot. I'm jealous. It's freezing in this studio, but you know that's, <laughs> yeah, that's par real. for the course around here. Um, <laughs> well, we uh, we have just been absolutely blown away by what you and Inter have been doing this this season. Uh, it, it's it's pretty remarkable where you guys are at. Can you just kind of give us a little peek behind the the curtain over there? What's what's been the secret sauce for this Inter Milan team? I think the secret stuff is um, that we. After the final, what we lose against Man City, that we grow up as a team, and uh, that we train very hard to become um, to the best five clubs in the Europe, in my opinion. And uh, we have a good coach that is very open, that he can that he, co he controlled the things very well because I think it's not easy for him. Uh, but we as a player, we make it easier for him as well. Hakan Meraba, Naber. Iyi miyim sen? Çok iyi, çok iyi abi. I wanted to ask you about uh, your position, Hakan, because uh, it's yeah. changed over the course of your career. We, we saw you burying yes. midfield free kicks at, at Bayer Leverkusen in, in a more attacking role. And now, sometimes you receive the ball, you're deeper than all of the center backs. You're like by your own corner flag beginning play. Where, where do you most like playing, or, or, or at least how, how important has that development rather been, been to, to your career? I have to say, um, I think everyone knows me um, as a number 10 and especially for my free kicks from the past, was very famous. Um, yeah, I grew up now in my new role uh, that I really like it and uh, after that um, move from Brozovic, I take the position. And um, yeah, I'm happy. Yes, it's true. I agree with you because uh, sometimes uh, I'm playing like a defender because we change a lot our positions. We move a lot, and we try to make the upper upper um, upper the 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 opponent. The opponent. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, to make them in difficult uh, and we, we, we like to move the ball and we search every time for the space. So, but I think I grew up also in the def defense position because uh, I was before more light, not so tough in the duels. So I like to go uh, aggressive sometimes to take the ball, to receive the ball and to play forward. So Hakan, I, I want to talk about Inzaghi uh, as your manager because it seems prior to, to mid, mid, I'd say midway through last season that people were calling for him to be sacked. And then all of a sudden it seemed like your team took a turn, you went on this incredible run, you get to the Champions League final, um, and now you're in pole position obviously to win a Scudetto. What has he meant to your squad? What does he mean to you? And, and of course, allowing you to kind of embrace that role in midfield of being that deep-lying midfielder to make the game for, for your club? I think um, like a player you grow up every year and as a coach as well. You learn, you, you try new things and as I, as I said before, he's a coach, he's open for everything, he try new things. And he make now Inter very important because I think in the past Inter was not playing that football. And everybody likes to see us when we play. And I have to say him and his staff is doing a good job. And yeah, we unfortunately miss the, the game against Atletico Madrid, we lost. We were unhappy after that game, but um, we have 
now the Serie A focus that we want to win the Scudetto because we went to we want to we want we want to put the second star uh, in our breast. Oh, you're gonna do that. Yeah. Trust, trust me about that. You're on your way. Hakan, I want to ask you a little bit. Obviously, uh, your Turkish background, uh, you have a big love for Turkish football, and it's kind of going through a bit of a struggle at the moment. Obviously, we love the passion of the fans. It's the first thing we talk about when we talk about Turkish football, but sometimes that can go awry. Mm. Talk to me a little bit about what you're seeing back home and what do you think is going to happen? It's really crazy because um, our fans in Turkey are very crazy because we as a Turkish, we have a lot of emotions. Um, that's why when the other teams playing in Turkey, in the stadium is uh, a fire because they love football, they, they grow up with football. And uh, me as a Turkish national player, I want to make them proud in Italy and, and try to make them every day more happier. Hakan, speaking of the Super League, you, you are a self-proclaimed uh, Galatasaray fan and, and you know they, they love getting big stars from, from the European game. You've never played in Turkey because you were born in Germany um, and, and your whole career has, has, has been in, in the European game. Not, not that Turkey isn't in, in Europe, but I think he understands the gist of my question, Hakan. Do you ever see yourself playing for Galatasaray? I have to be honest, actually not, because um, I like to play in Europe. It was every time my goal to stay in Europe, to be or to stay high as possible, to not to lose the level, because I know and I follow the Turkish Football League, and I hope that they do something some things better than what happened now in the last month hey but mls is a pretty good league huh <laughs> are you maybe interested in coming over to america and playing major league soccer <laughs> no. no i'm happy here i'm happy here to be honest because i love italy i love the people here and i'm here now seven years in milan and uh, i want to live also after my career here Charlie, he's not giving that up. Yeah. Look, at, look at that. Hey, <laughs> Hakan's you know, living the life know. in hey. Milan. Yeah, you can live the life in America, Char too, Charlie, you know? Charlie's going to try to sell MLS with all the Turkish food in New York. Like <laughs> we don't stand a chance. Come on, now. Um, yeah, but you never, right, know. you never know. You never know, exactly. You, you said it yourself. You know, you you, know. You're, you're happy in Milan. You've, you've been there for some time now uh, with experience with Milan and now Inter. There is a, a situation, there is a scenario that could happen where Inter are able to clinch the Scudetto in the Milan derby. Um, in, in your mind, knowing the city as well as you do now, what would that look like? Oh, if that happens, it will be crazy. But um, I hope I hope that it will be a good game and a fair game. So, uh, as I said before, I wish a good game and that we celebrate in a normal way. Because I know in the past uh, how Milan celebrated. So I want to stay very calm because it will be a game. A very tough game and heavy. Hakan, I mean, it's not only a big end of the season for, for Inter. You're playing in the Euros with Turkey coming up this summer. How important is it for you yes. to, to compete, do well, and, and progress? Because I, I, you were probably, how old are you? Uh, you you're a teenager when, when, Turkey, when Turkey had a, a very deep run in the Euros. You probably remember that. And maybe, you know, who knows? You can repeat with, with Turkey in, in the Continental Championship. Yeah, I hope so, but um, we don't have to forget that we are the youngest team in the Europe. We have uh, such young players with big talent. And um, the good thing is that we play in Germany, so I can say that we play at home because Germany is like a Turkey. So in football, as you know, everything is possible, but we try to, to come 
far as possible. Akan, is there one player in Syria that gets under your skin that you have competitive battles with in midfield? Is there one player that you look at every time like, all right, this is going to be, this is going to be a rivalry. This is going to get dirty. <laughs> um, there is a lot of players. Uh, I have to be honest. Anyone no, that talks, talks a lot to you, talks trash? That he make me stress? Yeah, is, is there any, is, mean, no, like talks trash, like tries to put stress on you, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot uh, who provocate me, who try to bring me down in the game. Mm, I don't have no names in my mind, but there is a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course. It don't bother him none, though. No, it doesn't bother you. <laughs> he boxes that midfield. Uh, Hakan, we, uh, we're really, really appreciative of you taking the time to join us today. Best of luck the rest of the season. Um, yeah, you've been so much fun to watch, man. Yeah, thank you so much, and happy birthday also to Golasso. Oh, uh, thank now, you. Uh, that they told me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm following you guys every time because you are very funny. I like it to watch it. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Well, we appreciate You're you. Welcome. Have a great rest of the day.